So what is the con move? What is the con Anybody move? Anybody who looks at the Like an eagle. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna expose some genius here. Yeah. Yo, wait, 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 wait. I thought we were talking about some techie stuff. I'm sitting down. Are you ready? One, ready. In three, two, one. one. The combo. Alright. Dude, we are on, man. Great. Hey, welcome everybody. It's Tom. Um, you are watching and, or listening to the convo. Uh, the what? The what? The convo. Yeah. And um, I'm Tom, your host. With me today is one of the guys that I truly respect. He is uh, a dad, a husband, but even better man. He's helped a ton of people generate a gazillion, a gazillion leads. A gazillion leads and a ton of business has helped people grow their business from four or five figures to like what I don't know six seven eight figures and um, you know without further ado man I'm, I'm gonna introduce him his name is Taki Moore thank you hey, how are you great to be here dude can you hear me okay yeah man you're coming in very very clearly beautiful cool so uh here, here to help man tell me about the combo how does it work and what are we doing today Oh, dude, the convo is just basically a conversation uh, between two, three people, depending. Um, and we're just, we just talk about anything under the, uh, the digital space, the online space uh, related to business and, and technology. And um, you're, you're one of these guys who's like at the precipice, at the cusp of... Uh, <laughs> Don't fall off the precipice. <laughs> of, of um, you know, you actually do this, you help people... You help people transition. You help people get into um, um, the online space. Um, yeah. You know, but instead of me telling people what you do, can you can you tell us more about what you do, Taki? Yeah, it's really simple. I uh, work with coaches and consultants. They're typically really good at what they do, uh, but they're they're capped because they uh, you know the model they use to market and sell and deliver is very manual, uh, very time consuming, and so uh, the way they market is you know, is slow and frustrating. The way they sell can be slow and frustrating and, and they coach time for money. So they run out of time. And uh, in a nutshell, what I do is I help people to to uh, automate their marketing so they can reach more people, to sell to groups so they can onboard more clients and then to coach larger groups so they can help more people. And uh, that's kind of what we do. That sounds, that sounds awesome, man. And, and I've known you for quite some time. And yeah. you've just evolved so much in that short span of time but so I mean, I, just look at us man i think the quality of our black t-shirts has increased significantly i know i know <laughs> they used to be they used to be five dollar t-shirts now, now they're six dollar t-shirts <laughs> you know um this whole thing uh, about the capsule wardrobe i've i've taken on it and and i opened my closet and it's all black right there you go. And when they come in in a, in a button-down shirt in the office, people go, what's the occasion? What's happening yeah. today? Who died? <laughs> died. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'd love for the listeners or, or anybody watching right now, our audience pretty much, to know you a little bit more. So give us this one. Tell us something quirky about yourself, man. Am I allowed to tell you the secret I revealed in the car before, or is that you want something well, can, else? As long as it's clean. We can do it. <laughs> it's very clean. So uh, I was raised by people who were raised by wolves, which is dangerous because you've got like non-wolves teaching wolf skills. Oh, wow. And, and, and you, I bet you have like this wolf language. Is there a wolf language? Yeah, there is. I'm not that good at it because again, like I said, I was taught by people one step removed from actual wolves. Do you have a so chant when you pound in your chest? <laughs> uh, so legitimately though, uh, one thing most people don't know about me, uh, dude, I've got six kids. That's quite a lot. And um, I'm on a mission to live in summer. And the one thing that we're thinking about next year, we just, my wife and I were talking about this yesterday morning. <clears throat> we're thinking about going full nomad next year and like not living anywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> we got uh, six locations around the world. We're thinking about what would happen if we did like a month and a half or two months in each location and visited, like had an apartment in Sydney and an apartment in the US that we could visit, but we didn't have to like stay somewhere. Dude, that, that, is, that is a dream, right? And plus, you know what? Shout out to Kieran Marie. Awesome, yep. awesome lady. 
and the kids, man. I've actually had the um, wonderful opportunity to meet all of these guys. Well, except one, one more. Yeah, but but they're they're awesome people, very talented, and um, really fun to be with, man. Um, so so, what do you call this? Um, we were just we were just um, talking about. I think it's called. I think it's called the combo. And uh, yeah, <laughs> you were, you're talking about you're talking about living in summer, and, yeah. and going full nomad. And yeah. this is kind of the dream for a lot of people, which is which is why they want to get into this thing. And you've already, I thought I was in the assumption that you're already living in summer, man, because like every, yeah, every, summer, but we do. Uh, we definitely live in summer, but. I think like a year with no house would be kind of cool. One of my role models is this guy. He's a consultant. His name's Ram Charan. And uh, uh, there's this kind of article. If you Google the strange existence of Ram Charan, you'll see this guy's story. He's got an address in Chicago. Uh, he owns a house there, but he's never visited there. He just needed to have an address so that he could get a passport. And uh, he's got these two assistants. And uh, I think it's every day or maybe it's every week whichever hotel he is in the world, uh, a box arrives with new clothes, freshly pressed and ironed, uh, shavers, toothbrushes and stuff. And so he just kind of unpacks his new clothes, uh, puts his old stuff back in the box and it gets FedEx back to somewhere. And I just think that's pretty cool. So uh, I want to give that a try next year. Dude, a man of the world. It's like Thomas Crown. It's like Thomas Crown. It's like a secret agent lifestyle. You get there, everything's there. It's just amazing. Man. Well, let me tell you this. I met someone a couple of weeks ago. Uh, her name's Sylvie. And uh, she used to be the personal assistant to a few Hollywood celebs, like uh, Benicio Del Toro, great actor, and a few others. And she's she's got all these hacks to, like... Uh, you know, to help you live a little bit more, more Brad Pitt. So she put us in touch with this dude called Vic, who gets you through LAX, like from curbside to on the plane, hopefully the front of your plane, in like no time flat, through customs, out the other side. You relax and just walk one of your planes. It's pretty cool. So uh, I'm interested in getting a little bit more of that. Wow. Yeah. Dude, Sylvie and Vic. That's awesome, man. So. But, you know, people want this. They want this for themselves. Um, they want this kind of life. But, you know, you, you own a brick and mortar, or like a business or a shop, or you don't even know where to start and how to do it. And this is kind of how you help, right? Yeah. 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 So if, if, if you're a coach or a consultant, I've got a, a type of tool which helps people do exactly that. And if you're a kind of a Somebody else's business, then some of what I have to share might be helpful, and many much of it might not be, but it'll get you, you know, start on the right path, right? That's the whole that's the goal. Yeah. Well, what would you say to anyone who's like, hey, Taki, man, um, I like your life. I like the, the whole Tim Ferriss deal. I like, yeah. you know, Ram Sharan, and I want to do that whole thing. What do I do, man? What's the first thing I would do, man? So uh, there's two sentences that uh, one I read and one a friend mentioned to me that really like pivoted my brain in a heartbeat. And I want to share those two sentences and maybe we'll figure out what to do next because um, let's just start there. So one of them is from Tim Ferriss and I'm reading uh, the four hour work week back when it first came out. And at the time, uh, he, wherever I was up to in the book, he was living in Argentina yep. and his team were in India and he was selling stuff online in the US. And he had this one sentence and he said, amazing things happen when you, when you uh, get paid in dollars, you live on pesos and you pay your team in rupees. <laughs> and my brain just went, Pow! like it was just open to a whole new possibility. So that's how you could do it. And so uh, I hired Ash, who you know really well, my first ever VA, yes. like that, a week and a half later. And uh, it's been seven or eight years now without looking back. Um, so that was the first sentence. You know, amazing thing happens when you can... You can get paid in dollars, live on pesos, and pay your team in, in rupees. Was the idea? The whole idea is that there's, you know, it's geo arbitrage, right? That you can exploit the differences in prices of things around the world to kind of build an epic life. I mean, I've got some friends right now who live in Bali, and uh, you know, they're in this you know epic five star mansion with a chef and a cleaner and a nanny and a, all the stuff, 
and it's a couple of hundred, you know, it's like a few hundred dollars a month. It's cheap. Yeah. So that's the first thing. The second quote was uh, from Mike Hargraves, who I know you know as well, Mike, my yeah. designer. And uh, he lived all around the world, and, you know, traveled all around the world. And I said, dude, if you could live anywhere in the world, like where would you live? In? And I'm thinking he's going to say London or Paris or New York or like some big city. And he just said summer. And my range went, you, you can do that? And uh, so I've been obsessed with those two thoughts. And so I guess they're the philosophy behind the, you know, the life that we're you know, living and aspiring to live more and more. What can you do? I guess the first thing to do is to figure out um, – you know, like if you're a brick and mortar business, like I don't know, let's say you're a, a bakery or a a building supplier. What do the, there's there's the work that needs to get done, and then there's the running of the business that does that. And the work that needs to get done is probably local, but the thinking and the leadership that needs to do that probably isn't. Yeah. And so I I kind of want to separate myself from working into working on as quickly as I could. And even if it's just you find uh, a day a week where you work from someplace else, you know, with your laptop, you know? And uh, when you realize you can get away with a day a week from your laptop at home around the corner, you could probably just as easily do a day a week from your laptop in Singapore or Bali or Germany or America or, you know? That's probably how I'd start. And uh, obviously that means you're going to need some great people and some systems of control. But uh, what a fun game to play, right? So like, um, and... and and if you wanted to do it, there's a ton of content out there. If you just search for it, there's a ton of books, videos, and more importantly, there are guys like Taki. Taki, again, you know, he, he, he can help you in this thing. Yeah. And don't worry, because a consultant. Now, here's the other thing I should say is, at some stage, if you're going to be on the road traveling, gallivanting around the world, you need some people to look after your stuff so that uh, your business is, A, still there when you come back, and B, hopefully in, you know, in better shape than you left it. And, um, you know, one of the things which I read about in the four hour work week was uh, the idea of having a virtual team. And, uh, I know that's a huge part of what you guys do, uh, in your office there at Carve. And so do if you're, uh, you know, if you need help with editing media or automation or websites or social media or admin or graphic design, you know, if any of that stuff would be helpful, then, you know, um, hit up Tommy and the team because you're really good at it. What is this? You're plugging me. I was going to yeah. tell you, hey, man, I'm going to give you 30 seconds or a minute to plug yourself, dude. You plug me in. Dude, this is what Taki does. He's so, he's a charmer. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> hey, it, there you go. See? Debonair type. Um, um, so dapper. All right. Taki. Um, dapper t-shirts. One, how do people find your access you? How do they get started if, they, if they're if they a coach or consultant needing um, help in, in this whole journey or even to get started in the journey? That's one. Yes. Yeah. So uh, super easy. The best way to get hold of me is to go to coachmarketingmachine.com and uh, every a couple of times a week I, I uh, share a brand new uh, video or article on how to grow and scale a coaching business. So that's where to go, coachmarketingmachine.com. That will, you know, anything we talk about, Taki and I, right now, will be in the show notes or in the comments box at the bottom. Hit like, yeah. smash that. Um, Taki, what if, okay. so, so within coach marketing, a step up from that is, is Black Belt. Yeah. And, and um, tell us a little, bit, a little bit about Black Belt and uh, where it's, what's next for Black Belt um, this year. Cool. Um, so Black Belt's my baby. Uh, it's where I get to help amazing coaches and consultants who are, you know, already successful and uh, want to grow and scale quickly. And, uh, you know, one tribe full of amazing people around the world, two big communities. You know, one of them meets a few times a year in Sydney uh, at Manly Beach and one of them meets a few times a year in Santa Monica in California. Um, it's really the, you know, the best system I know for how to attract and convert and deliver in a scalable way through a coach consultant. Um, so what's new for us? Oh, we're just at the end of a quarter, uh, end of a kind of a period for us. And so uh, we've launched a few cool new things. Um, every 90 days, I create three new projects to make our marketing even better and three new projects to make our Black Belt program even better. And so uh, rather than tell you what's next, how about I tell you what we've just shipped in the last week? Is that okay? We'd love that. We'd love that. So we wanted a way to help clients uh, notice their progress better, 
track their progress better and celebrate their progress better. And so we built this thing called Black Belt Badges. And so if you imagine you go into a, a workshop and uh, you've got one of those name taggy things around your neck. Yeah. Uh, right now, you know, the one you've seen had their belt color. You know, we're on a, a journey from white belt to black belt. And so every time we get together, you can earn the next one. But what we've done is we've taken the, the core black belt curriculum, which is around how do we attract and how do we convert and how do we deliver. In each of those three categories, there are three core projects that we, we run. So on attraction, it's like, how do we build authority? How do we fill your funnel? And how do we automate your business? And so uh, you know, there's three activities there and three here and three here, nine altogether. And so what we've done is we've uh, gamified it. Pretty, pretty fun, actually. And so we've got uh, you know, five levels that people can have for each, for each of these nine badges. And um, when you register for the event, you put in your current scores. And it spits out a name badge, which is uh, you know has all of those icons on it, and they're either see-through, transparent, if you haven't done that yet, or they're bronze, silver, or gold. Or if you're a real badass, you get like a black shield with that icon, and it's just super cool. And so uh, what I'm excited about is it means the clients know exactly where they're at, what their next step is, and are really, really focused. And also means that if you want to get good at say selling with webinars, you can just uh, look around the room and find somebody who's got a gold badge or a black badge in the webinar thing. And go hang out with them straight away and, and uh, piggyback on their knowledge. That is awesome, man. And, and um, if you're following Taki on Facebook, you would see all his posts. And one of yep. the, the, the posts that I've seen recently is his drone got stuck in a tree. <laughs> yeah, it got stuck in a tree. So I found this guy called Scotty who's a spider monkey. And uh, he reckons he can climb. It's like 45, maybe 50, like it's, it's tall, dude. It's like 45, maybe 50 meters up. And... Uh, but it was still there, like it, it's been gone for four days and I miss it dearly. And uh, we had big rainstorm last night, so hopefully it's still there. I hope. Ho okay. Anyway, hopefully tonight we're gonna, me and Scotty are gonna go there. I'm gonna hold the ladder, he's gonna climb and then he's gonna like spider monkey his way up the top. And, uh, <laughs> I hope I didn't get struck by lightning. And what is it, is it on top of one of those jacarandas, uh, whatever trees in Australia? It's on top of a gigantic pine, like a north of a pine tree. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, so there we go. So that you know, like, um, if, if you're watching this and if you're listening, you, you know, um, do not, do not hold yourself back in, in engaging in the uh, in, in transitioning your business and getting yep. into the journey. Um, Taki uh, is here to, to help you, give you a provide a system. Uh, he's been doing it for years and he's helped a lot of people. And it's on Coach Marketing Machine. Dot com, dot com, not dot com, dot au. All right, dot com. Okay, so, um, dude, like, um, thank you so much for all this, this, you know, this wisdom that you gave, um, me. I don't know if I that wisdom, but I had a good time, and we had black t shirts, and we looked cool, and we, uh, it looks like we're about to do a dance or something. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Taki, thank you so much, and I'm hoping to get you on another episode sometime soon. And we're just going to talk about some um, stuff like designing sandwiches or uh, <laughs> where your next uh, destination is. And thank you so much for, for um, spending time with us today, man. So all the links that you need, um, you can find at the bottom. Hit like, um, share this. And, you know, have fun as always. This, this has been Tom for the Convo and Taki. Thank you.